Hi everyone. Today we will be looking at how to find uh, tables which are related to a particular transaction code. So um, let us uh, first have a look at the option for SP05. So SP05 is nothing but your performance trace. So I'll select the SQL trace and click on activate. So once your SQL trace is activated, we can take the transaction which you want where you want to find all the tables which are being used. A material master display. Uh, now what I will do is I will select a material number. I'll put ART star and star and we will select a material. So it is giving me an error message. Now what I will do is I will select this 203 material which was earlier selected and I'll hit on enter. Then I'll select these two basic data uh, options and click on enter. And we will browse the two screen and we will exit. Now let us go back to SC05 and deactivate the trace. And then let us click on display trace. And I will say execute now. So what it did was it has now shown me the list of uh, SQL trace uh, for the transaction which I executed and the uh, tables which I have browsed uh, uh, in the duration when the trace was active. Now, if you see over here, this object name, uh, I will put a filter where object is not equal to blank. What happens is, uh, because the trace was activated for the uh, transaction MN03, uh, before I went browse to the uh, transaction MN03, all the um, fact standard uh, tables which were, you know, uh, uh, accessed after the trace, uh, trace was activated are also logged in this um, uh, list. It also gives me these object names like the DINPRO source, then the DDI6 uh, tables which are fetched, etc. Everything is um, uh, shown over here. See here, even if the body um, uh, uh, table which is um, selected is uh, listed over here. So uh, naturally now we know that for material master, the uh, table name starts with M. So what I will do is I'll put M and Start. And now if you see, we get the list, actual list of material master tables, which were fetched when I browse the uh, two tables, uh, two screens, uh, MN0 in uh, MN02. Now this approach is good when we have to uh, find out list of all tables, uh, which includes also the select queries, which are done in bodies and user exists. However, uh, it is a long uh, approach because it gives you the list of all unnecessary tables also uh, in it. 